Welcome to another quick demonstrator. Uh, great Cal Basic um, accessing text strings from EEPROM via I2C. So it all part of the I2C program I've been sort of trying to sort out for my, my project. So this is um, what I had for my project actually. In fact, um, I've actually had um, a PIC. Um, it's a Great Cal Basic program PIC programmed. And it's got some text strings or actually in a, an EEPROM over here. And I'm going to get those text strings out of that EEPROM onto my screen. So I'm actually going to put them in initially and then recall them out, okay? And I'll show you that. So if I show you the terminal, okay, there is the terminal. And I'll just reset that. Just put some power back on my microchip, okay? Uh, it's just programmed it, and then it's just recalled them all out. And so all those are in that in the EEPROM. And I could call up hundreds of different strings, okay? All right. Um, so, so how do we go about doing that? Uh, so we need to program it. We have set set text strings, ASCII, and put them into tables. Oh, pain. It's a bit of a pain, but let's just let's show you. So here's some text strings, okay? Um, here are the strings that were there before. That's what we're looking at. So exactly what we saw before. If we look at the screen, we can see that item 19 is zero pick account. 19 is zero pick account. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just blow these all away to start with, okay? All right. Um, and I'll, I'll take them all away and then just show you how to do it. So, so I'm just going to type in a string. Okay, I'll put another one in. Okay, all right. November 2013. In actual fact, you can put as many. Then you put a comma at the end. It actually makes white spaces. Okay. Delimited by commas. Um, I've got a program. I've got to process that. And down here in this output, I've got um, a set of strings. It's actually a table. Up. It's a great card table. So if I copy all that, I'm going to put it inside of my program. My program is here. This will program the EEPROM and then read it back. So let me just um, tidy this out and clear it out. So just to show you what I've got. So basically what I've got is a standard header could be any processor, a bit of serial here, okay, a bit of serial, a bit of I set up the I2C. And then what I've got here is the actual go get the strings from EEPROM, okay. So how do I program it? Well, the output I created down here from my processor that I can give you, it produces this file. It's a table, and as you can see, it's a set of, str it's a set of numbers in a, in a string data, in a string data source. Uh, it can cope with lots of tables it, i mean i've had 14 tables on test right and it works fine this is just one table very short um but we'll go back and look at the strings in a moment and see what it produces it's um it's a, it's a table uh it populates it and then programs the eprom okay all right so this is end of the table here uh it tells me there's 38 characters blah 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 i don't need to know any of this um and then it programs my eprom okay so I look down here writes a bite to the eprom Okay, it does all this stuff for me. So if I program that, it's going to write it. And then at the bottom of here, it's got a piece of code that actually reads it back just on test. And then for my program, I can then recall these strings. Okay, so let's have a look what it's done. Programming it. It's now running the microcode, which actually programs EEPROM. And it pulled back a set of strings. Look, look. Let me uh, show you a lot here. These are my strings. Great Cow Basic, November 2013. Oh, what's this one? Oh, zero. It automatically puts that one in. That's, it automatically programs in. You okay, you? Why you okay, you? Is because you test, you can always test string zero, and if it's not equal to you okay, you, you know your EEPROM's not working, or you haven't programmed it correctly, and you can put some error checking inside of your um, program. My major program that's using this currently just makes sure that the EEPROM is there. If the EEPROM is there, it carries on. If not, it goes into some backup strings it's got, okay? Just numbers, okay? That way, I keep my my very large program I've written, which is uses 91% of the processor in terms of its storage. Um, it has no strings in there apart from numbers. And so, it took my set of strings here, uh, put my strings here at Great Cow Basic, and November 2013, and put it in here. And so what I've got is a method of 
read call on those. And basically this is it here. It says print string, a function, go and get me some, print some string. And it's actually, print string is, is the routine that goes and gets the EEPROM value. It's got a parameter of zero, get me uh, string zero, and then put it in a variable called display string. And here's my test. If display string's not equal to you okay you, then it's an error, otherwise it's looking good, okay? And then the rest of this just goes through it and it pulls out um, the first 35 strings and uh, random strings, okay? And then finally gets out string 255. Um, if it doesn't find a string, it puts a dollar, it puts a dollar question, it puts a question mark dollar up, okay? Because it just knows, okay? Uh, it uh, hasn't got that value in the EEPROM. Um, so let's go back to our strings lot. So I'll revert that back to as it was lot. These are the actual strings I've got in my processor. Okay, so I've got, uh, so I've got camera strings here. I've got a little file there of X amount, I don't know. I'll just uh, program that, create my output file. My output file down here. Um, I'll copy all that into my programmer. So it just programs it. I just take, clean this lot out, because this is my old stuff. I'm just gonna paste those tables back in. Okay, so what I've got is, I've got four tables. I've got 784 characters. The strings are all unique. They have to be uniquely numbered. Sequen they have to be sequential. They just have to be sequential. In terms of that, you can have gaps in them, blanks in them. As I said, you've got, uh, um, if you put a comma in it, it creates an empty uh, string that's got X amount of characters long. The EEPROM is formatted out that says I know how many strings I've got, I know the lengths of the strings, and it rapidly moves through. So if I now program that, I'm going to take that and reprogram my my microprocessor with these new strings. I'll just reset my terminal. There we go. So the first thing it does, it populates, it writes all the data into the EEPROM from the read tables. And once it's done that, it then reads it back. And this is just a way of programming the EEPROM. And then once your EEPROM set, then you can then move that, move it into production piece of kit. There we go. So if I wanted to call out one particular string in my code, it's easily done. So I'll show you how I do that. I'll pull up my um, meter I've just built. Oh, need to say all that lot. Um, did it. His actual file, the actual file I was running. If I show you in here, um, display string. Here we go. Here's my test. So this is my live code. It says um, check whether the EEPROM is operational. Get code zero. Check for UK OK. And then it says um, some strings, and then it handles it there on. Now. So basically what I've actually then got is a set of routines to minimize, a set of subroutines to minimize the amount of um, code I'm, I'm generating. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. So down here it says, go and get me a print string from the EEPROM, source string, which is a number that's come as a parameter, and then puts it in display string, and then puts it out of my LCD. So I've got very limited. All I've, set, all I've got is a sequence of numbers. I call these numbers. Uh, and then tell it which row to put it on my LCD. It's quite rapid, um, and I can see the um, EEPROM, EEPROM values. So let me just uh, finalize up, and uh, I'll actually put another piece of code in, which is just a raw, just um, read the EEPROM raw. So it's just going to quickly just uh, read the EEPROM, and there we go. So look, I've just read the first uh, 16. Um, bits of that EEPROM and if I show you the um, that language file we were just the table we were just creating look this is the table I pasted in my little uh, macro generated this for me so I've got a terminal here of the first 16 bytes so the it's interesting because um, we know that there were 234 characters, but what it does, it does all the formatting for you. And if you look, you see the total number of strings is 33 in the table. In um, let me just move that over there. 
in here is 33 and here's 33 and so it, it there's the index number and then if you look here it's 455 4f 4b 55 and this is actually the uh, UK OK string and then we move into the first string which is uh, uh, 11747 1, so basically what it does it comes in checks to see if uh, this this number is a valid number, it checks the number of the maximum number of strings it can read, uh, bytes it can read. It checks the UK OK string to make sure that's OK, and then it rapidly moves through the um, EEPROM, so it's got it's formatted out. Um, so basically, that's what I wanted to show as a um, way a method of uh, accessing text strings from an EEPROM. Be right to say, um, we'll call that a wrap.